What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy Kid back at it again. Hope you're doing well. It is Saturday, so we got a brand spanking new series that we're going to be diving into called them Let Them Eat Cake. Um, excited to check it out. I'm already hungry just hearing about that, but um, just want to say thank you to, I'm going to say these names wrong, and I'll try to have a picture of people's names here. Uh, 66 and uh, Sweet and Steve, uh, thank you for your suggestion. There was a few other people who have mentioned throughout the course of watching App Fab. Uh, on Saturdays uh, to to check out this show. So it's a shorter series, but hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully we'll have some laughs. We know there's going to have some familiar faces there, you know, um, so from that fab essentially. So looking forward to seeing that. We'll see, you know, who's in store and we'll see what the show is about. So always an excitement period for me. So hopefully uh, you guys will kick it and watch alongside me. Don't forget, if you do enjoy that content, hit that like, comment, subscribe, hit that red button. And that will um, essentially, uh, yeah, lead you to watching more reactions alongside me. Always making it cool to, you know, hang out with you guys. So enough of my yapping. Let's get this party started. Snacks not included, let's freaking go. Let them eat cake. Donnie. A lot of familiar names. Gotta be cool. What's that? Mistress! What's that? Why are you expecting to put that on my head, are you? The Comtesse did ask for a ship. But I expected a little imagination. Yes, a glorious man of war. Yes, it's all resting huge waves of hair. This looks like it's run aground. Yeah. <laughs> on a dead poodle. Yeah. <laughs> My mistress here, in seven days' time, is attending a very exclusive soiree de musique. <laughs> when she takes her seat, she wants the people in the row behind thinking there's been a bloody great eclipse. Yes. <laughs> Big, monsieur. Big. You know, complete he. Parfaitement. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, oh, I forgot about him. Oh. Madame, there's a messenger here with very urgent news. My lady, I come hot foot from your country estate mm -hmm. to inform you that your beloved husband is gravely ill. Who? <laughs> <laughs> the old cunt. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I will, of course, spare Madame the ghastly details. No, no, that's all right. Go on, go on. Suffice it to say that his face is a hideous mass of suppurating pustules and certain extremities have dropped off. Hey. Oh, come on, what other news? Have you the tulips out? <laughs> um, I need something I... to cheer me up, monsieur. Yeah, she's just had the most appalling shock any woman can ever have, haven't you? <laughs> I mean, look at this! Look at this! <laughs> you not impress anyone unless they sat on it! <laughs> It's like a shredded turnip, monsieur. Very, very shoddy work. Shoddy work. And the whacking in it. Take it away. It's very shoddy, shoddy, shoddy. <laughs> Is it two of your clock? I have an appointment with Madame de Plange, and she hates to be kept waiting. Oh, well, it's it's half past three. Excellent. <laughs> oh, that young man. All a charade, my dear. The Comtesse de Vache hasn't had a decent lover since she was ten. And he put it about a lot for a nine-year-old. <laughs> she has a husband. I expect he provides all the warmth and love she needs. As long as she doesn't need it very often, yes. <laughs> At his advanced age, the warmest bit is normally an inflamed goiter. <laughs> of course, he is remarkably wealthy. Oh, man, Mort, you're not suggesting she married him for his money. My dear, when one is trying to excite a sack of dried fruit, it's amazing how 60,000 a year puts power to one's elbow. <laughs> the woman is too sordid for words. Shit. <laughs> right in there. <laughs> I'm sure that's not true. There are plenty of words to describe how sordid a person is. Disgustingly vile, sufficiently repulsive to induce continuous vomiting. <laughs> so festeringly nauseous that her corrupt. Oh, Eveline! 
apart from which everyone speaks very highly of her to Marie Antoinette. Only because they have to. She knows things. Things? Makes it her business to uncover all the dark, embarrassing little secrets that one would rather not be made public. My Lord. That is not for the ears of an innocent and pure young girl. You are innocent and pure. <laughs> more? Hmm. you embarrass me. I wouldn't know a penis if I sat on one. <laughs> <laughs> My ass. Oh, shit. <laughs> what is this? That's so cool. I can't see her. <laughs> this is great. I should have noticed that. That was close. Now, to Plange, what do we know? P, 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 P. Mm -hmm. Right. Madame de Plange, mm -hmm. the lover at present of the Marquis de Bonville, de Bonville. the Vicomte de Brut, oh. several chevaliers, uh -huh. two gardeners. A Doberman. Jesus! And a butcher. So, no mm. shortage of meat in her diet. <laughs> so, girl, what hungry. What you want with me? That's the question. If I may hazard a hypothesis, I believe she has come to present her daughter Eveline, who has recently sprouted into a woman. Oh, that's interesting. Have you ever done that before? <laughs> Be warned, mistress. Oh, Madame de Plonge is known to be jealous of your good relations with the Queen Consort. Oh, yes. With who? With who? With who? The who? Queen Consort. Oh, yeah. Marie Antoinette. Mm -hmm. You've seen her around the palace. Big Bo Peep look-alike. Crown. <laughs> the Austrian tart the King married. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the yes, yes, yes. So, Madame de Plonge is jealous. Oh, not our. And it is said she will stop at naught to bring about your utter and total downfall. Well, it's all going today, isn't it? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Clever. Well, Madame de Plange, oh, Madame la Comtesse. What a marvellously delightful intrusion. I must apologise for keeping her waiting. I'm afraid I was doing something rather more important. <laughs> <laughs> so, enough of these pleasantries. What brings you this end of the palace, fully clothed? <laughs> uh, Madame la Comtesse, may I have the honour of introducing my daughter, Eveline? Oh, my dear. <laughs> You're the spitting image of your father. Have you met him? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I think, Madame, that you are very insulting, and if you intend to continue, I shall leave immediately. Oh, well, goodbye. <laughs> Now it's then, off. Madame is already late for her afternoon bouche à bouche with a rapidly expanding flax merchant. Ooh. So if you will excuse her. Uh, Emmeline, darling, would you wait for me in the corridor? Maman! If you're Ooh. about to discuss the pleasures of the flesh, I'm hardly likely to understand. The advantage of being innocent is words like multiple orgasm and hung like a cart horse mean absolutely <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, all right, girl. <laughs> Go home and wash your mouth out, you dirty bitch. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Madame, Madame la Comtesse, as a true and loyal friend, may I ask a small favour? Some months ago, I became acquainted with the Marquis de Bonville, a remarkably sympathetic young man of impeccable dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> However, what began as a mere dalliance on my part has become an embarrassment. The man worships the very cushions I sit on. Oh, it could just be poor eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> I was therefore wondering if you knew of someone woman enough to attract him away from me. <laughs> Bonzi, Bonzi. I think Madame has already had him. <laughs> <laughs> Baffin, Bordeaux, 
Basingstoke. <laughs> <laughs> a brief lull in the hostilities with the British. <laughs> oh, bon vie, strangely. Of course, I realise the dangers. Mm. Should whoever it is fail, she would undoubtedly become the laughing stock of the entire palace. <laughs> that music. Then it will clearly have to be someone assured of success, madame. <laughs> the boob off, man. Eh? Well, come and give these up a bit. Madame, they are up any higher, and you may find they interfere with your hearing. Well, let's make an impression. Then I suggest you hit him with them. Are <laughs> sure this is a good idea, are we? What? I mean, the Marquis de Bonvies. He's young, he's handsome, he's sexually voracious. Oh, is he? Actually, maybe I should do it. No, just no. say the word, madame, and I will. I will I will selflessly catapult myself straight into his britches. No! Thereby <laughs> sacrificing my own good name for the glory of my mistress. No! There are some things one quite likes to do by oneself. <laughs> no, of course, you'd be familiar with that concept. <laughs> When he opens that door, he's expecting a vision of aristocratic loveliness. <laughs> yes, all right. Look at me. <laughs> oh, oh, is the bed prepared? Yeah, three pillows, as Madame requested. One for herself, one for the marquee, and one to keep your arse up. <laughs> Who shall I be to pass? Demure, I think, like the portrait. No. It's a bit wistful. Oh, no. um, I'd be more sexular if I was you. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. oh that's very good. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> oh, you honour us with your presence. Uh, uh, what? what? Your husband's end has been diagnosed as very nigh, madam. Well, that's why you must stay in the country. That's why you must stay in the country, sir, and run away. <laughs> Come and die here. Grounds. You know that, you fool! His only desire is to leave this vale of tears with his head pressed to your bosom. Oh, no, I, I must go to someone else for that. The only way you wouldn't want to cuddle that, would you? Oh, would you? Well, you might, but would you? <laughs> oh, just bring him in and lay him somewhere, then. But you can't stay long! You can't stay long on the rain! <laughs> She's yelling. God, he smells like a syphilitic's piss pot. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, you haven't seen the rest of him. Mm. I mean, it's always been like sleeping with an elephant's scrotum. Oh. <laughs> well, I need to weep for my husband, monsieur. She's got loads of weeping to do. Come on. Oh, oh it's in, it's in. I don't do this. I've got nuns to shave. Oh, oh. Shut up. Um, right. Ready? A bit more sexier. Good. Yeah. I'm a priest, madame, sent to pray for your husband's life. What now? Well, now would be preferable. After death, it gets slightly tricky. <laughs> come in quickly, go on, go on, wish, wish, wish. Don't ring any bells and don't burn anything that smells. <laughs> madame cannot huh? seduce Bon V with a priest in the next room. I don't see why not. She's not going to join in, is she? Hey. <laughs> it's Friday, they're only fish. <laughs> You'll have to have a tryst somewhere. Tryst? Yeah. A tryst, you know, trysts, they're all the rage. You'll have to have a tryst again, like you did last summer. Oh. <laughs> tryst again? Yes, like I did last year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. What about the orange grove? And then Madame could have him on the bonquette. <laughs> oh, now, Lisette, mm. inform the Marquis that I shall be accidentally passing by in ten minutes. Oh, oh right oh. A twist. <laughs> She's gonna go um, down. Palace physician, madame. Come to save your dear master's life. Oh, don't bother. If God can't do it, you got a fat chance. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got it, right? It's changed to the orange grove. Oh. Well, tell your mistress she has made a most succulently delicious election, and I shall be waiting with my ardor barely concealed. Right. You have actually seen her, haven't you? Sorry? Nothing. Just wondering. <laughs> if that's someone for my husband with a measuring stick, tell them oak with brass handles. Oh, and no death mask. This could be one of the few 
corpses and improve with age. It's the Queen. Well, you imagine I don't like meeting your friends. I'm rather pushed for time. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen, well, consort Marie Antoinette. But I'm in a rush. Can't you get rid of her? Madame, if I could do that, you would now be watching ten million Frenchmen kiss my buttocks. The woman couldn't take a hint if one nailed it to a suppository. Monsieur le Marquis de Bonville. <laughs> I hope I haven't stumbled on a scene of depraved and licentious debauchery. Yeah. Now, as you see, Mademoiselle, I am... All alone. <laughs> then I'm sure there's nothing improper in us sharing a bonquette. Damn. Your Majesty. <laughs> she is crazy. Heinz Glitchkin? Sad. <laughs> Sad that your husband is covered in the dreadful ruptions. <laughs> Particularly as he was not the best looking man in the first place. You're so kind. So kind. <laughs> as your king's. Frau? Bit of rumpo. <laughs> Bit of rumpo. I must tell you that here in Austria, everyone is weeping. France. <laughs> yeah, France, Spain, everyone is weeping. <laughs> Your Majesty is so kind, but I'm sure she has more important things to do than waste her time on matters of such small consequence. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> I, uh, Interesting to one. Her Majesty, I do. I do. Oh, oh, do, oh, do. There's been a problem. <coughs> oh, do. You must come. You I must come. Her Majesty is here. Oh, 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 Cooking. Oh, one strange lady. Madame, I must ask you to cancel your seduction of the Marquis de Bonville, who I now love and worship with every inch of my body. Oh, well, why, why did this happen? Just now, with every inch of his. <laughs> Listen, you little flower of the dung heap, have you any idea who you're talking to here? I have. Oh. Which is why, though my heart weeps to have to throw my own parent to a pit of slavering hyenas, if you swear not to molest my darling Bonvie, I will divulge a dark and dreadful secret regarding my mother. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I promise. She promises. Aside from my fiance, Maman is or has been the lover of the Vicomte de Bru. Yeah. Several chevaliers. Yes, we yeah, we uh, thought it was going to be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Two gardeners, a butcher. She didn't know about the Doberman. No. And <laughs> your husband, the Comte de Vache. <laughs> That's nasty. What a freak. I don't know what would anyone want with that, huh? I haven't touched him since 1771. <laughs> <laughs> Buffon? Never. <laughs> well, I was inquiring as to Madame de Plonge's motive, Monsieur. Oh, you get well, it's obvious, isn't it? Money. Rather late in life for that one to turn professional. <laughs> <laughs> Not if she stood to make a huge fortune and simultaneously ruin the most hated and despised and loathed woman in all of France. <laughs> 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 um, ay, ay, ay. Uh, oh, uh, what me? Me? Uh, well, uh, uh, no! No, not you. Well, yes, you. Oh. But there are some <laughs> other people that are just as loathed as you. Mm? Like, um, well, like, uh, mm. Marie Antoinette. Oh, oh, God, yeah, she's loathed. She is. She, she is so loathed. Mm. And the Marquise de Fufu oh, is yes. heartily disliked. Heartily. Mm. She's a cow. Yes. She's a complete cow. Yes. Mm. Anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> Madame de Plange can ruin me. 
Wow. Vita and Calestum Risigamas, Payes and Christum Dominum Nostrum. If the old comp dies, mm. you stand to inherit everything, right? Yeah, well, I didn't marry him for his looks, you know. A slug wouldn't have married him for his looks. <laughs> However, if you are involved in some kind of public scandal, like humping the Marquis de Bonvie, for instance, he might decide to give his money to someone else, mightn't he? <laughs> someone who's got a cleavage so big you could lose a giraffe down it. <laughs> someone who's been throwing herself at him like an Olympic wet nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Madame de Plonge. Plonge! Oh, it all ties up. Now, be careful. <gasps> Madame, my breast is aflame with passion. My loins, a burning bush of lust, waiting only to be doused by you. Could you come back? I'm very sorry. You <laughs> <laughs> played the shit out of him. Oh, and what do I do? If I may proffer a pensée, Madame. Yes, all right. Come on. Let it out. Come on. If your husband should die before you copulate with the Marquis, surely there'll be no problem. Oh, I know what he's saying. He's just using highfalutin words mm. to say, wait till the old comp dies, mm -hmm. and then you can shag the hunk and we're all in the clear. <laughs> Whatever's happened soon. Yes, like must, now. Now, he must die now. Now. He must die now, honore. Eternae Deus, Salus Eterna Credentium. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, <laughs> you know, you're doing all your Padre Glorioso self on math and math. How often do you actually yes. get a result? It's just that my mistress looks very good in black, and we was just thinking if Jesus wants him for a sunbeam, <laughs> nobody is objecting. I mean, look at him, he's so old. I mean, if you had ever seen him trying to suck a golden delicious, you'd know it's a miracle he's struggled on this oh, long. No. <laughs> mistress. I've had another thought. Madame de Plange can be remarkably persuasive. What if the Comte has already changed his will? Oh. <laughs> well, get a doctor! Get I, a doctor! I don't do doctors! Oh, get a doctor! I <laughs> <laughs> understand that my services as court physician were not required. Well, I'm sorry. That was when she wanted him dead. She now wants him alive, though having seen him, I wouldn't have thought there was much difference. I, sir, am not a puppy dog to be sent for and dismissed willy-nilly. Oh, do stop whinging. Do you have any idea what I have been through today? I made the most exquisite ship wig ever seen bristling with crow's nests and poop decks. Given the right crew, it could have rammed Portsmouth. And was that good enough? Make it bigger, she says. Big, monsieur, big. So don't talk to me about injured pride, you fat queen, because mine has been irreparably <laughs> patched. I wonder if I could interest you in a revolutionary treatment for stress. Stress? Yes. Basically, one takes four leeches, places them in one's hand, and whenever one feels that tension building up, one simply squeezes them. <laughs> like mm. Of course, it can be dreadfully messy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Will he live? That, I'm afraid, is in the lap of God. Mm, well, what exactly does he have? It's the pox. I'm not quite sure which kind of pox. As you know, there are lots of poxes. However, I've washed out his bowels. I don't know if he'll do much good, but it certainly perked the priest up. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! Oh, shit. Hmm, so how can I find out if he's altered his will? Hmm? If I might... Uh... Mm. Oh, come on, then. Come on. What is it? Well, if your husband has changed his will, then surely his death would come as a pleasant surprise to Madame de Plange. All one has to do, therefore, is convince her he is dead and gauge her reaction. Uh, <laughs> he's very good, isn't he? Well, he's homosexual, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Sent you away? That's impossible! Mm. Did you... 
show your legs? Yes, well, I... Oh, you have failed me, monsieur. I was given to understand a mere flash of your smile could deflower a cemetery. <laughs> I take it you have no excuses. I believe her husband was there. Husband? Mm. No, it's not unusual. After a busy day at their offices, many just like to sit back and watch something undemanded. <laughs> <laughs> the danger of him missing my big finish. Oh, he's dying. Dying? Mm. No, no, no. He can't die yet. Oh. From my, uh, oh. mistress. <laughs> Lucky guy. Oh, oh, I love Dottie. The Comte and Comtesse de Vache in cordially invite Madame de Planche to a supper of finger snacks and stuffed fancies in their apartments at eight of the o'clock. <laughs> so, you see, monsieur, his condition is not as brave as you say. <laughs> ah, damn. He looks so at peace with the world, doesn't he? So serene. Still, he's had a good innings. It's the way he would have liked to have gone. I've dug it. Yes, I'll be in touch. <clears throat> Madame Come can't on. bury him. Can't I? He's not dead. It's simply a ruse to fool Madame de Plonge. Yeah, so? What more convincing a ruse than him six feet down under a slab of marble? <laughs> Buried a lot. Well, I'll dig him up again, you know, if anyone feels mm. particularly strongly. <laughs> you may be homosexual, monsieur, but you've got no sense of humor. <laughs> now, what you have to do? You engage the Comtesse in some mindless conversation while I convince the old Comte to alter his will. Which is not a sin because when the money is ours, we will distribute it among all the poor people of France so they have a lovely Christmas and a bright and happy future. Yes, dear, that's right. <laughs> Welcome to this place of woe. <laughs> You should have brought the Marquis with you. Would have saved one of you having to climb off him. <laughs> now tell me, what can we get you? Something long and spicy and a butcher's apron, perhaps? <laughs> but forgive me. The introduction. Have you met my husband? Two, three, four. <laughs> music. Wig! Wig! If madame will wait a second, I shall have it winched out of its crate. <laughs> oh, he bears. A miracle! Oh, praise the Lord, it's a miracle! Is he still here? Huh? It's quite the most remarkable recovery I've ever seen. Why? Though as his wife, you should be warned. I believe it to have been a sexually transmitted disease. Oh, thank God for that. If I were sick, I might be in danger. <laughs> Is this not a day of celebration? <laughs> uh, water! <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, and then, Everybody. monsieur, perhaps you will tell me how she got it. <laughs> Got the flowered. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Big ass galley in there. <laughs> Holy shit! Cool, guys. <laughs> 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 
guys. Some of these names are going to be extremely hard for me to say, guys. Forgive me. Oh, shit. Great cast, though. Got a little bit of Gavin and Stacy up in this bitch, too. Shit. Okay. Ladies and gents, we got to talk about it. Thank you if you made it this far. Man, what an interesting group. A lot of sexual shit going on, and I'm all for it. Sign me up for more. Give me one second, ladies and gents. Oh, shit. Oh, man, guys, ladies and gents, I'm a little bit cheeky red here, but you know what? Uh, I had a good time with Let the Meat Cake, uh, this episode uh, about the pox, essentially. And what a what a star field cast that we have here. We got a girl, Donnie. We got, you know, uh, you know, Jennifer Saunders. We got my man uh, who's playing Buffon, uh, which was absolutely funny, kick-ass character there. You know, from we've seen him in Gavin and Stacey and other shows, et cetera, et cetera. But we also got a girl from, uh, you know, Gavin and Stacey's as well. You know, Gavin's mom, uh, phenomenal to see her there. I thought she nailed it. She was doing such a great job. You had the assets, uh, you know, um, this kind of rivalry between, you know, her and the other one. Remember, they had that little fan off uh, between Jennifer and her. Um, again, it's going to take me a bit to learn some of these names because you got Madame LeBlanc, you know, all these all these names. So if we say they're they're like real life names just to make it a little easier for me. But uh, what can we say about Jennifer Saunders? Like. We loved her in Ab Fab as this kind of crazy, kooky uh, character. And she's essentially playing another type of character where she's a little ditzy as well. You know, they're talking about her husband for a second early on. And she's like, who? <laughs> so sign me up. The more ditzier, the better. So I think she nails that from her facial expressions. I think I ain't going to ever forget. I'm going to be looking at people's artwork a lot more carefully if I ever walk into somebody's room and shit. I thought that was so cool between her and essentially, um, and we say Dawn is the maid, essentially. Uh, if I'm wrong, let me know. But Dawnie's character, uh, the maid, uh, she did so good there. You got a lot of seduction going on here. And just hearing about, you know, with Jennifer's character, uh, again, I apologize for not knowing a lot of these names. Uh, you know, me names suck. I suck at it. But yeah, seeing Jennifer Saunders basically essentially want her husband dead and she is as quick because she wants to go get some action was funny. That other lady's daughter, uh, the, the, the younger daughter there being deflowered essentially there, that ending where a lot of people had the box, a lot of things going on. It was transmitted there. You had the priest, you had, um, obviously the rival, you know, uh, from Gavin and Stacey again, apologize, uh, with the names. I suck. I know, I know, I know. Um, yeah, it's going to take me a bit to learn some of these characters names here, but, um, yeah, I, I thought Buffon was crazy cool, too, because, you know, he, he was that guy. He was like a sage and shit, although they're obviously taking massive jabs at his sexuality. Uh, you, you, you hear it in, in, in the subtleness and, and, and the plain obvious there. Um, the crazy thing, cool thing for me, too, is not only... Um, watching the show, but uh, when you're watching the show and you're seeing the outfits... Um, the the core that's in the background you know the way everyone is dressed and stuff so i'm really liking that it makes me um feel like a, a part of the the time frame that we're in here um so i feel like i'm in the atmosphere of it, you, you, it they nailed that and um that hair style in the beginning when they were ripping buffon because it, it wasn't to their liking uh you know they wanted bigger and, and, and all that shit well yeah he nailed it at the end there that shit was crazy so um Hell of a cast, number one. Uh, yeah, this seduction shit and the sexy vibes. And, uh, uh, and, and that guy, essentially, the guy that was there to seduce the Marquis, I believe. Uh, yeah, he got he got himself uh, a mouthful there by Donnie's character maid. Oh, my God. Luckiest guy there. And then she's looking at the other guy. And she's, and she's like, ooh. <laughs> so I definitely think there's plenty of laughs to be had. Um it definitely fits my humor with uh, what they're going on there. Um, 
th these this rivalry is something I'm going to look forward to. It, it definitely seems like it when they would put the fan out and they get the other fan out and they're just kind of like e uh, evil mugging each other. Um, it, it's good to see. So what's cool about characters essentially is, you know, the way they play different roles. And um, we were already a fan of the guy who plays uh, Buffon. Uh, he's been phenomenal in a lot of shows, obviously Gavin's mother a as well. But to see essentially, it, it might sound stupid, like the range and 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 in a different character uh, coming to life it is very exciting to see. So there's a lot for us to, to check out. Uh, I, I know it's going to be a short series. Hopefully we'll learn some of these names and stuff like that. Um, we'll do our best to do it, but I, I definitely... I'm left wanting to see more. I will say too that uh, Maria Antoinette, that chick, the the one that was uh, came in with the dude, uh, who was like kind of uh, filling in the lingo and what the hell she was saying. That lady lost me. Her voice was kind of annoying to me. Uh, yeah, she kind of tuned me out a little bit there. So she was like probably the only character that I was like. Uh, you know, I, I want to steer clear. And, and that scene with Buffon and essentially the doctor with the leeches. Oh, man, they, we've had some gross scene. That shit was bloody mess there. Uh, and the pox thing, obviously, this guy was coming out of the, the coffin looking like a vampire and shit. And next day he was okay. But that line, though, about the priest getting excited at me dying there. So plenty of laughs. A great cast, and I think that overall adds to my overall enjoyment just knowing uh, some of, um, you know, watching shows previously from these characters, uh, you know, these people playing characters. So I'm like, oh, man, this is like this is like a no brainer kind of show to be watching for me. And I'm just anxious to see more and we'll see what happens. Who's going to be getting more deflowered here. Uh, I just got to stay tuned to find out. So massively good first episode. It drew me in. That ending there was crazy. Uh, and yeah, we just want to see some more and hopefully have some more laughs. But yeah, between Dawn French and, and jo you know, um, Miss Saunders, that's a hell of a combo, ladies and gents. That is a hell of a combo. So I feel like match made in heaven. Obviously, we know they're friends and all that. And, and you know, you know, help with shows and all that. Um, but yeah, I just think having them on the show... Uh, the way they executed those characters perfectly, uh, man, they just complement each other very well. And I'm looking forward to this maid and her dynamic. Uh, you know, she's gonna be like, who, who? So, uh, yeah, I'm just definitely looking forward to seeing some more. Enough of my yapping. Great first episode. We'll see you soon. Enjoy the content. Don't forget to hit that subscribe again. Last thing I'll say, I'm sorry that I suck at the names. Maybe we'll get it at some point. And if we don't, my bad. Um, but we'll, we'll try to do better in hearing a lot of the names and stuff because it happens quickly. And uh, there's a lot of names and, you know, it's difficult for me. You know, uh, words are hard sometimes for me. So we'll see you soon. Peace and love. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with me. And have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. Peace out. Enjoy your weekend.